What's up, YouTube? It's Josh with EverydayFBA.com, and it is December 2nd, 2017, which means that November is done. It's over, and it's time to do a recap of my uh, sales on Amazon. What's been going on? How did I do? Was there any growth? Um, and I'm going to go over my top 10 most profitable items that I've sold and my bottom 10 least profitable items that I've sold right here in front of your very eyes. So stay tuned, hang out with me, and we'll go over it all. All right, guys, so here we are over at my Instagram. Yesterday I posted uh, kind of a screenshot of uh, my my stats, which you can see kind of uh, down here in this area. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so at Everyday FBA. Uh, it's a way that I connect daily with you guys, and uh, I really do appreciate everyone that you know comments or that sends me a message. Um, you know, the exchange that we have uh, in Instagram is really awesome, and I'm proud to be a part of that kind of community that's there. Um, but here is the official numbers. So this is October. In October, I sold a total of 208 units, which was 61% over uh, September. So that was pretty awesome. But going into uh, December, finishing up November, here we are. I sold 384 units in November, which is a 94% increase over last month, over October. I almost doubled my units sold in November compared to previous October. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, it kind of shows the work that I've been doing, all the work that I've been putting into it, you know, the sending in more inventory, the having more inventory so that I can capture those sales. Uh, it's all there. So that's awesome to see that number. It's awesome to see the growth. Uh, and then down here in this corner, you can see that uh, my total sales for November was 7,362, uh, which is up about, so it says 86%. I think it's really more like 75% or somewhere around there. But um, in October, I did just a little bit over a $4,000 in sales. Uh, so to be in that $7,000 range now is, again, it's just incredible growth. And I'm super grateful and super happy to be seeing those numbers and everything trending in the right direction. Um, so let's dive deeper into those numbers even further. All right, so again, here is October, or I'm sorry, uh, November, uh, all laid out, you know, 384 items sold, $7,361.72 total sales for the month my average size of order was nineteen dollars and seventeen cents uh, and then down here you can see 373 units of books 97 percent books uh, in November because um, I did sell toys you know it is q4 uh, and I got into a few toys I, I spent a little bit of money on that um, not too much and I guess I priced my toys a little bit too low because they sold out uh, in the first uh, month in, in November when I really wanted to hang, hold on to them until December so I can get that higher price. But it's all good. I found some replans and, you know, we're working those in. So, But again, just the graph. Units sold. Product sales. Huge spike here. Not sure why, but that was awesome. That wasn't even Black Friday. That was pre-Black Friday. So um, not sure what caused this bike. I think it was probably those toys just selling out. Um, but if we look back, looking back at October, you see I was 99% books, whereas November I was 97% books. Um, so we branched out a bit. The average sale was around the same, about $19 and, and you know, the middle road there. So that's cool that it stayed the same. Um, at least it didn't go down, and I would like to see it increase uh, a little bit more. But again, you know, I'm selling books, um, and I'm taking a lower profit and selling at a lower price point on some books just so that I can get as much inventory in um, 
the warehouse as possible so I can grow those numbers, which you see that I'm doing. And then total for the year so far, uh, $32,300. I really, really, really want to hit that $40,000 mark to have sold, you know, $40,000 in my first year uh, with Amazon would be quite an accomplishment for me. And, you know, honestly, I, I didn't start taking it seriously until here, until September. And that's when you start to see this growth happening. Uh, because this is when I put the pedal to the metal and said, you know, let's really make something out of this and do something well. So, um, I would, I honestly, I would say that 50% of my sales were right here. Uh, cause that's when I was doing most of the work. Uh, so if this trend continues and if I do another 7,000 or 8,000 in December, I will hit that $40,000 mark, which is incredibly awesome. Uh, especially for doing it half-assed for most of the year. All right, so this inventory lab, like I said, when you want to pull reports, you can just go to accounting, FBA sales, it'll bring up all your FBA sales, and then you'll just uh, hit the advanced button and tailor it to the, the, the dates that you want to see. I've already pulled the report, uh, so let's go check it out. You know, before even pulling this report, I knew two things. I knew that one, um, toys would probably be up there in my most profitable items. And number two, I knew that I lost money this month. Yeah, that's right. I lost money. It happens. Um, but it's explainable. You know, just like in the corporate world, like when I worked for Whole Foods Market, if you missed margin or or overpurchased or or did anything like that where your numbers weren't correct, if you could explain it, if there was a method behind it or you knew where that money went or where that money's at, then it's quite possible that you would be given kind of like a, a little bit more leeway as opposed to just be like, I don't know. I don't know where the money went or I don't know why it happened. I don't know why we lost money this this month so uh knowing your numbers and knowing why things are happening and being able to explain them uh will go a long way in your business so here it is my top 10 and as you can see look toy 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 book toy 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 book book <clears throat> so my total buy cost here uh you see my buy cost here um average buy cost was around 30 bucks which is higher than usual, and that's because of the toys, not because of the books. My order price, average order price was $100. Again, it's higher because of the toys. Uh, net profit was $48 on average from those items. 50% uh, profit on those items. And my ROI was about 1100 for those items, which includes those toys. Now, this number is a little low, and it's because it includes those toys. You know, you don't get the um, ROI with toys that you get with books. I mean, it's insane. I mean, you can see um, right here, you know, um, 128% ROI, 116% ROI for those toys, but you jump right into a book and bam, 3,000% uh, return on investment. This book down here, 4,500% return on investment. So um, if you want to get a lot of your money back, if you want to spend a little and make a lot, Books is the way to go. Um, you just got to really put in the work to go out and find them. So those are the good. Now here's the bad. Uh, these are my top, I mean, my bottom 10 uh, things that I either made the least amount, amount of money on or I lost money on. And you can see all the numbers here. Uh, average buy cost was around $9. Average order cost was around $12. And then when you get to profit, the average average profit is a negative four dollars and 26 cents uh i lost money negative 21 percent i lost money uh, but the, the overall roi is 15 percent. so um i don't know i guess i still got money back i don't know i don't really know how to explain that part of it <clears throat> if you do hit me up in the comments but i mean here's where the here's where the problems are right here I lost seventeen dollars there. I lost fifteen dollars there. Thirteen dollars there. Um, you know, a dollar here and a dollar there. 
Um, and this, guys, these are um, Amazon to Amazon flips that I had for last textbook season, which was in August. These are books that I ordered probably back in May and June of this year with the intention of flipping them in August during textbook seasons. Uh, I, it was my first run at it. It was my first try figuring it out and putting in the pieces together. And some books just did not sell, whether I didn't price aggressively enough or I didn't, um, I picked a bad book, whatever it was, I didn't pay attention to sales rank, things like that. Uh, I ended up having some books that stayed with me. And I consciously um, allowed my repricer to go to work on them so that I could just go ahead and sell them, pull whatever money I had in out so that uh, I can just reinvest those dollars instead of just having stale inventory sitting there. Um, I don't want my inventory sitting too long, number one, because of long-term storage fees. Uh, I don't want to get hit with those. I don't want it to make a big dent in my wallet, even though I'm making money and I could probably afford to take a little hit. I don't want to do it. So um, just being proactive with your inventory, controlling your inventory, knowing what's been there the longest and um, coming up with a plan to either sell it at a loss or dispose of it or have it returned back to you to do something else with it. Um, but yeah, that's what happened there. I lost money there. It was a conscious decision. Uh, I wanted to pull that money out so that I could reinvest it in something else. And that's what I did, even though I did it at a loss. So there it is, guys. My top 10 most profitable items and my least most profitable items um, right here in front of your eyes. Uh, well, I gotta invite you guys to come and check out my website, everydayfba.com. Uh, it's a blog. It's a personal blog about my journey here uh, with Amazon FBA and kind of uh, um, everything that I go through, you know, my tips, my tricks, my wins, my losses. Uh, everything's going to be on this blog. So, guys, go ahead and head on over to everydayfba.com. Uh, drop me a comment. Drop me a question. Let me know what you want to see, what you want to learn. Do the same right here in this YouTube video, guys. Um, if you appreciate the content that I'm putting out, if you appreciate um, the fact that I'm being so transparent, be sure and subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel uh, so that you can get notified of the next video that's coming out. In a couple of days, I'm going to post my next video, which is going to be uh, somewhere along the lines of 10 tips uh, for selling books in, on Amazon in 2018. Uh, so I'm going to lay it all out for you guys. And I'm also going to give you like a fast track plan for how you can really just grow this business in a short amount of time uh, so that you can see those results quickly. Uh, so subscribe to me, guys. Be on the lookout for the next video coming soon. Thank you. And I appreciate you guys checking this video out. Have a good day.